So what does the flood-prone highway in Henderson, Minnesota, have to do with the Child Development Institute at the U of M or Hmong American Farmers Association? Well, they're all in line to get money from a $1.8 billion public works construction bonding bill moving through the state capitol. The most important reason to pass this bill is the jobs that the bonding portion of the bill creates. But every portion of this bill is essential to economic recovery in COVID-19. The bill also includes money for things like the Third Street Bridge in St. Paul and rail crossings and water treatment plants. This is not a 100% bill for anyone but this is as good as it will get for the six Republicans who need to vote with us today. Because bonding bills are a form of borrowing, it takes a supermajority to pass one. So even if all 75 House Dems vote for it, they need at least six Republicans to cross over to get the minimum 81 votes. Representative Murphy, we appear to be having audio issues again. If you can hold on just a second, I will talk to the audio folks. The first hiccup today was a failing audio connection for Representative Mary Murphy, who was trying to present the bill from a remote location. Madam Speaker. We also saw a mini debate within the debate as Republican Steve Raskowski of Mazeppa tried to convince the House Speaker it's unconstitutional to require lawmakers to wear masks in the chamber. I am currently 12 feet or more away from the closest member in this chamber. Now, right now, they haven't even got to a vote on the main part of the bill. They've spent most of the afternoon debating attempts by Republicans to amend the bills. Uh, one of the bonding bill amendments would require them to pay for the interest on the bonds by making budget cuts in other places, and that's something they've never done with any previous bonding bills. And, of course, if this passes the House arena, uh, then it goes over to the Senate for more fun debate tonight. So we'll see if this uh, really happens. Back to you. So, John, it could be a real late night, do we think? Uh, it could be. It really depends on how many efforts there are to try to change the bill before they get to the main vote on the main bill. All right, grab some coffee. We'll talk to you later. Thank you, John.